Hi, I'm Chad with Move For A Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Caged Theory. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about major seventh cage chords. First off, if you like all the diagrams for this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Cage Theory. But I am working on it as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching this lesson. If it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that'll allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 12 from our series, Cage Theory. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So, so far all the cage chords we've been looking at have been triads. They've been major triads or minor triads. But you can actually build cage chords with seventh chords as well. And in this lesson, we're going to look at the first one, major seventh chords. So here are the basic triads, the major triads for the cage chords. We can turn all of these open chords into major seventh chords. So you have C major seven, A major seven, G major seven, E major seven, and D major seven. And these are all really common open position major seventh chords. So if you don't know them, they're definitely worth learning because they're very useful and used all the time. So just like we did with the basic triads, turning those into movable chords, we're going to do the same thing now with the major seventh chords. So here's a C major seven in open position. If we move that up half a step, then we're going to get a D flat major seven bar chord using the C major seven shape. And this is a really common bar chord, movable chord. It's used all the time, has a really nice sound. It's a nice voicing. So definitely learn it if you don't know it. And again, just wherever your root is, that's the name of the chord. So right now the root is on D flat. If we were to move the lowest note up to the 10th fret, we'd have a G major seventh bar chord using the C major seven shape. Next one is A. So we've gone from C, now we're on A. So we're talking about an A major seven chord. So this is the A major seven open chord. If we move that up half a step, we would get a B flat major seven bar chord using the A major 7 shape. And again, this is a really common bar chord. It's used all the time, so if you don't know it, definitely learn it. It's a really useful bar chord. Sounds really nice. And again, just wherever your roots are, that's the name of the chord. So if we move the lowest note up to the 7th fret, we'd end up with an E major 7 bar chord using the A major 7 shape. Next one is G, obviously. So this is a G major 7 open chord. If we move that up half a step, you'd have an A flat major 7 bar chord using the G major 7 shape because your roots are now on A flat instead of G. And this is an extremely hard chord to play and don't even know why you would attempt to if it's not really something that you need to learn how to play. So the most important thing to do is be able to break it down into a simpler form. And the first way would to be to remove that lowest note and then you have this shape which is much easier to play and this is still an A flat major 7 because your root's still on A flat. Or you could even remove this note as well and end up with this shape. And this is a really common chord, a really nice sounding chord that you could use. And it's really easy to play. So this is still an A major 7 chord using the G major shape, but it's a simplified version. Then you can move that anywhere up the fretboard. If you moved your lowest note up to the 10th fret, that'd be an F major 7 bar chord using the G major 7 shape. Next one is an E chord. So it's an E major 7 open chord we're looking at. If we move that up half a step, we would end up with an F major bar chord using the E major 7 shape because now our roots are on F instead of E. And this is a fairly common bar chord, pretty easy to play, pretty useful. It can be kind of a muddy chord, but it still is a useful chord, so definitely learn it if you don't know this. And again, we can move this anywhere up the fretboard. If we move our lowest note to the eighth fret, we'd have a C major seven bar chord using the E major seven shape. And then our last chord is a D major seven because we've gone through C, A, G, E, now we're on D. So this is a D major seven open chord. If we move that up half a step, we get an E flat major seven bar chord using the D major seven shape because now our root is on E flat instead of D. And this is a really common major seven chord as well that has a really nice sound. So definitely learn this if you don't know it. You can move that anywhere up the fretboard. If we move our lowest note to the seventh fret, that would give us an A major seven bar chord using the D major seven shape because our root would be on an A now. So now we can visualize the major seventh chords up and down the whole fretboard. And we're in the key of C, so these are all C major seven chords. Right here is your C shape, your C major seven shape. Right here is your A major seven shape. Right here is your G major seven shape. Right here is your E major seven shape. 
Right here is your D major 7 shape and then we're back to C major 7 an octave higher. So you can see how the cage chords can all be turned into major 7th chords and that's really useful as well so that you're not just stuck playing triads. It's really important to be able to play 7th chords as well. So those are major 7th cage chords. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to talk about dominant 7th cage chords. And be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.